Okay, I'm gonna tell the story about Marcel. He was a free rooster. He lived in Brussels, Terburen, Belgium, in our garden. He went, uh, of course, all the time to the neighbors. He went in all the trees and all the gardens. That didn't work out well because um, one day in Belgium there was a bird flu. We got a warning from, uh, from police. So they told you have 24 hours to lock him up or you kill him. And then we said, well, we have to find a way to get him asleep. So maybe that way we can catch him. So uh, actually we decided that we uh, would try to drench corn and alcohol. And um, Marcel arrived, eat the corn, had the alcohol. We were standing there waiting, what's happening, what's happening, what's gonna happen? So he tried to uh, fly to the fence. He stopped on the fence and then, boom, he fell down. So we waited for a while, went to in the garden and tried to catch him and then he flew again. So we couldn't catch him. Okay, so 12 hours later, the same as always, every morning again at four, five o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't sleep anymore. <laughs> Hello, I'm still alive, yeah. What will we do? Well, maybe you should give him um, a sleeping medicine. So, okay, cut it in little pieces uh, with some corn. Marcel, eat it all up. Same story again. He flew away. Well, actually, we couldn't see him anymore. So we thought, okay, maybe he died somewhere or maybe uh, he just went somewhere else. And then again, it's two in the morning. There we go, there he was again. And I thought, Jesus, he really wants to live. He doesn't want to die. And it was true because we tried four or five times and we couldn't kill him, we couldn't catch him. Well, we didn't get any warning anymore of the police because the bird flu stopped. And uh, he could just be free again. So we wanted to uh, get him a reward. You wanted to live, well, now you're gonna live. And decided to get him a few ladies. Mariette, Maria and Marie, they were chickens. And uh, Mariette became to be his best friend. What did you think? A baby came. Marcel's son, which name uh, was Max, because he was huge. He was actually so much bigger than Marcel. And he wanted to be the boss. And Marcel didn't want to let the king. I'm the king here. And um, I will be the king forever. Marcel was staying in the same tree. He always stayed. And as soon as something happened, he just flew down. So one day they had that fight, a big fight, a really rooster fight. So Marcel lost his eye and uh, lost the fight, actually. So uh, he was banished by Max to uh, another place. So we didn't see Marcel anymore. After a while, we were wondering where he was because it looked like Max started to be the new king. And then in the morning, a few days afterwards, we heard far away, but very far away. And we thought, eh, Marcel is still alive. And we started to listen, 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 and then we saw him in a big tree. And he stayed there for weeks and weeks. And we were frustrated, and I suppose Marcel as well, because he was our king. And then one day, I think uh, Marcel thought, okay, I'll try a revenge. And he came back, because he wanted his wives back. And uh, then there was another big fight, a very big fight. Then he killed his son. We saw the whole fight and Max fell down and was dead. It's terrifying, of course it is. 
So he was still the king of Terwiri. Een koning. Een overlever. Every morning, every other morning, four o'clock, five o'clock, whenever the day starts. Koo, koo, koo. Sometimes it's really annoying. <laughs> yeah.